Hello! In this part of the presentation series, we're covering lane changes, following, turning, interstate driving, and night driving. Remember, I can't cover everything in the DOT Rules of the Road book, so it'd be a good idea for you to study that in addition to watching the presentations found on this website. When you want to change lanes, look in both the rear view mirror and your side mirrors and make sure you look over your shoulder to check for cars in your blind spots. This illustrates blind spots, the places you cannot see in your rear view or side view mirrors. Even if you are on a three lane highway, only change one lane at a time. If you are driving too fast or following too closely, you will not be able to stop in case of an emergency. Did you know that at 55 miles an hour, it takes about one city block on dry pavement to stop? Leave at least three seconds between vehicles. Do you know how long three seconds is when you are driving? Pick a stationary item on the side of the road. It can be a house, a road sign, a tree, anything not moving. Once the vehicle in front of you passes that item, count to three. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. If you meet that item before 1003, slow down. Leave at least four seconds if you are following motorcycles, pulling a trailer, or the roads are slippery. When making a turn, you should check both ways for traffic and pedestrians. You must signal continuously for the last 100 feet before the turn. When approaching an intersection to make a right turn, stay as far to the right as possible. When you are turning left, start in the left turn lane and complete the turn in that same lane. Do not switch lanes halfway through a turn. There are two main types of ramps for getting on and off interstate highways. The most common types are the diamond and the cloverleaf. Never back up on the interstate or on the ramp. If you miss your interchange or exit on the wrong one, drive to the next exit. Do not use the median crossovers. They are for emergency and maintenance vehicles only, and you can get ticketed for using them. Use the entrance ramp to adjust your speed so you can merge safely with the flow of traffic on the highway. Only stop when there is no opening in the traffic flow. Night driving tends to be more difficult than day driving. You can only see as far as your headlights shine, so this cuts down on your time to react. The law says you must use your headlights from sunset to sunrise and any other time when necessary for safe driving like during snow, rain, or fog. From a safety perspective, it's actually good to use your headlights at all times. Notice how much easier it is to see oncoming traffic when headlights are used during the day. Clean your windshield inside and outside to reduce glare from oncoming vehicles. You should also clean your headlights for better light. Eye strain, fatigue, and lack of concentration can be the result of staring at the spot created by your headlights. Keep your eyes moving. Stand for animals, pedestrians, and bike riders. Pay close attention at dawn and dusk for animals, especially deer. Slow down when signs warn of animals. Do not swerve to avoid an animal because this could result in a more serious crash. Dim your headlights at least 500 feet before meeting oncoming traffic. That's about the length of 1.5 football fields and within 300 feet or the length of one football field when following another vehicle. If you meet a vehicle that doesn't dim its lights, look to the right edge of the road to avoid being blinded. In closing, the North Dakota Department of Transportation reminds you that driving is a privilege, not a right. It's up to you to drive safely and follow the rules of the road so you can enjoy the privilege of driving. 